Hello everyone, welcome to Books and Blocks and guys and please if you're new to this channel make sure you click the like and of course the subscribe button right now and also go to the notification bell icon click it and sell it also interpret up a new banger a new exclusive video will definitely be notified. So let's of course take a look at this video right here of Anthony Joshua sending a message to Nigerians you know in Nigeria. Not just a message but also a special gift during the coronavirus crisis, bro. It's crazy. In 2019, I visited Nigeria and some of the local places that I visited were places like Makoko, Shagamu, the shrine. I was planning on teaming up with some of the local community leaders to contribute towards their events. But due to the global pandemic, these plans had come to a halt. So during this crisis, we thought it would be best to put some basic necessities together for some of the local people who may need it. Joshua, for giving us strength. Really appreciate Anthony Joshua for the gift. Thanks, Anthony Joshua. God bless you so much. People appreciate Joshua. Keep us safe. Keep winning. Of Africa. Of Nigeria. So here's to Nigeria. One love, people. And I'll see you soon. Man, Joshua is like an inspiration, brother. I tell you that. What's it? What's a take on that, brother? Uh, I'll let you do. <clears throat> um, you see, AJ has always said something, so I'm not surprised at all with this, and I'm not surprised because when the pandemic started, AJ has always said one thing: don't be. So, shy. so, you know, request for help. Speak yeah. up. You're not alone in this. And, you know, AJ said it in a couple of his, you know, videos he did, and they're like, we're there to help each other. And the thing that is this, we all know, like AJ has always said, AJ is a public figure, not just a boxer. And he's been saying whatever it is he can do to help, not just in terms of boxing, he knows he's both British, he knows he's both Nigerian, and he's literally stressed out the hands of help to the British. Same thing I was doing to Nigerian as well. You know, so it's not a surprising thing, and that's what they call, you know, a real, you know, person looking into. I'd look at it and make a legacy, and at the end of the day, even if the time comes and AJ is gone, all the good things he's been doing would not be forgotten, and this is the legacy he's looking to put out. He's not just looking into just being that boxer, this and that, and that but he's looking into being that one like, okay, when I was there, this is what I was being able to do, and I was being able to do it successfully. That's what he sees and that. So it's not even a thing where I'm going to be like, oh, I'm praising him or this and that and that and that. It's a thing where, you know what, well, I would just say, you know, God bless him for whatever it is he's doing. Right? And he should just continue because the way he's literally moving is not even the way a lot of people expect him to do things. You understand what I'm saying? But it's fine, you know, he's among those big top ones, top earners that is looking into making sure his country, regardless what's going on, is still okay, and I appreciate him for that. And hopefully, he continues his good work. And without good work, without good hearts, obviously, things is always gonna go over in his favor. And that, so that's just it to be honest. It's not too much to say to that. He's been doing this for time, and he's always gonna continue. Man, I have to like applaud you, bro, for your way structured the uh, statement, bro. I mean, Ty, are you there? Yeah, I'm still here. I mean, you see that, right? You see that. I mean, yeah. what do you actually think about that? Like, what? Should, like, I mean, in the U.S. right now, okay, in the U.S. Nigerians in the U.S. both born there, born there, and both but the ones that live in born there. Now, you have been in the U.S. for 21 years. Now, you seen what Joshua is doing right now. How does that like make you feel as a Nigerian? You know. Uh, in diaspora 
Well, it's it's good because um, it's 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 very dark. It's dark. It's dark times, especially for Nigerians. And AJ knows they they could they need all the help they can get because um, of the of their current situation. Nigerians, if not, if the if the if the poor Nigerians had an opportunity to change their lives, they will absolutely change their lives. I'm talking about the poor, the good ones. They will change their lives, but they don't have such opportunities as uh, you and I. We we have we have so certain we have certain luxuries that they do not have. You know we are able to able to actually seek out help and get some help when we when we need it. But when it comes to Nigeria, it's a different story. So you know it feels good because you know I think about I think about the poor a lot over there, and it, it really hurts me because because of the lack of help and the, the 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 corruption over there and the continuous lies they spread and they tell their people so I'm glad AJ was able to actually send help don't forget he's just one man to, to all the listeners that is listening out there he's just only one man so he cannot get to everybody but the best thing about this is is uh that you know he's one man and people could follow in his, in his example, you know, um, this, him doing <clears throat> what he can is bringing, is bringing uh, 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 more light and uh, it's like an eye opener to, for other people who can see what he's doing and be like, okay, uh, what's going on in Nigeria? You know, once, once the talk picks up, that, that, that is good. Because people will actually see what's going on in Nigeria, so th- what AJ's doing is is good. Um, you don't don't forget, like I said, he's only one man, and what so what can one man do by himself? You have to band. Yeah, we have to band together, and, and you know you got. I'm not I'm not gonna mention names. You have other people in Nigeria that have better resources than he can. That can do way more. Uh, but you know they might be doing something they might not you know but let's let's pray and uh and let's see let's hope for good things i think aj is on the right track and uh once he once he um i believe good things will come because he's on the right track and i i pray that you know he uh he's a good leading example for every other people out there to follow in his footsteps i mean look at how happy the the people are look at how happy nigerians are and i've not seen nigerian on, on twitter complain about this though compared to the government help you know that uh the government said they've given to nigerians and all that like compared to that bro i've seen videos of people you know saying uh they were giving expired um rice <laughs> it's crazy rice imported from china or so whatever so I mean, it's just crazy that Nigeria used to Nigeria used to produce rice, and all of a sudden, it stopped. Uh, I don't know for 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 what reason because our leaders are lazy, bro. I tell you that. But I'm telling you, the the you, the youths are the future, and like I always say, we need someone like Joshua for sure, uh, someone of that mentality to make sure that uh, all these old age vagabonds realizes that listen they've been living in the in the analog past so now is digital time and they have to like trans- transform into a new uh, a new you know dimension a new direction if not it's gonna be hard it's gonna be hard man i tell you that so for those of you guys watching right now like the video share subscribe as usual you know go follow me on instagram at uh, boxing block center on twitter at boxing block as well on facebook at boxing block center by the way on facebook I'm not like 12k. I now have 12k followers on Facebook. Wow, that's crazy. I remember just two months ago, I had only 150 followers. And now on Facebook, I have 12,000 followers, bro. It grew very fast. And I'm definitely happy about that. Stay tuned, guys. Cheers. <laughs>